Good morning. This is Mike at Wildcat Hollow Farm. Yesterday was probably one of the blackest, most hopeless days that I've had in my life. And today is probably one of the most hopeful and brightest. Last night, an old friend of mine volunteered to sponsor him and his wife volunteered to sponsor uh, V and L thank you very much uh, the responses that we got from the post that we made yesterday and the volume of the responses were overwhelming and we would like to thank everybody who offered suggestions or prayers or thoughts it, it, it's just so overwhelming the amount of caring that's out there uh, we had two other couples that volunteered to sponsor T and C who I have also known for a long time. Thank you as well. Uh, and one couple that completely caught me off guard. And since they're YouTubers and have a channel, I will mention their names. Zach and Jamie from An American Homestead. I didn't even know they watched our channel. <laughs> it, uh tell everybody out there you have a very deep heartfelt thank you for both Petra and I and I asked Petra this morning when I talked to her if she wanted to make this video to let everybody know that we had a sponsor and she said to the effect that she wouldn't know how to do it she wouldn't have the words which is actually kind of funny because she's better with words than I am. But it's been a very emotional 24 hours. Uh, you can probably tell, but I didn't sleep much last night. I don't imagine Petra did either. Yesterday morning after we, I found out that the visa was denied, I uh, came out here to the farm angry and frustrated so much so that I dug uh, just about six foot of trench, two foot deep in Missouri hard pack in about four hours. And uh, my hands kind of show it. Uh, but today, today is a good day. Uh, there, there's no other way to put it. It is a very good day uh, something that kind of shocked me yesterday a lady that I've known in Finland for 10 years made a post on her page to selected people uh, it embarrassed me and kind of shocked me and at the, same at the same time, I am completely honored by what she said. And Bear, if you're listening, which I know you probably will, uh, if you want to make that post public, go ahead. Uh, you don't need my permission. It's your post on Facebook. But I, if you choose to, that's fine. Uh, v and L will do the necessary paperwork this coming weekend and it will get emailed to Petra who will relay it to the consulate in Frankfurt and uh, we'll hopefully by the end of the month she will have her passport back with the visa stamp in it 
uh, not sure on how long their little processing thing will take, but what from what they told her, it should be pretty quick because according to them, all the rest of the paperwork is fine. Uh, one of the suggestions that we had yesterday was on Facebook and uh, it's from Haas at Off Kilter Homestead out of Florida. And one of his relatives had something similar happen and he suggested calling the uh, local state representative or the local federal representative of the state. Uh, and I did that. And I got the general secretary answer of, yes, we'll check into it. And then about 20 minutes later, I got a phone call back. And uh, it seems that the, our federal representative here is very interested and wants to start a congressional investigation as to why this happened. Because according to them, it shouldn't have happened. According to everything that we've read, it shouldn't have happened. So, this could be interesting. Uh, but, I, I guess that's all I'm kind of stumbling and stammering here. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, extra thanks go to TNC and to American Homestead, Zach and Jamie, and to VNC, who are going to sponsor. Uh, it's just unbelievable how this is, has worked out. And I thank everyone in Petra does as well. All right. Mike, I'm out.